Welcome pastors and ministry leaders to this week's Marry the Vision V-Mail. I'm Ron Yutzi. For the next few minutes, I'm going to share with you some things that I pray are going to lift your spirit, strengthen you in your relationship with the living Christ, and encourage you in fulfilling the ministry assignment, which is so important, that He, Jesus, has given to you in this hour. So today, I want to continue talking about the infectious gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, last video, we looked at Mark chapter 1, verse 40 through 42, where Jesus cleansed a leper. When Jesus reached out and touched the leper, Jesus was not infected by his leprosy, even though having leprosy, it was infectious. It spread. But that's not what happened. What happened was Jesus infected the leper with the power of God to cleanse him from the disease of leprosy that was eating away at his flesh. I love this. Jesus, and I'm going to say Jesus and the gospel about Jesus, is more contagious. It is more infectious with God's power to heal than the leper was with the disease of leprosy. You see, the touch of Jesus Christ transmitted a more powerful remedy to overcome the spreading of leprosy that was at work in the man's flesh. That the transmittable disease of leprosy was spreading, but it didn't impact Jesus. Ah, oh, minister, the gospel message being shared is God's remedy to the virus of sin that spreads a very harmful spiritual and mental disease among the human race today. How does this speak to us? This speaks to us of the importance of your call to preach the word and the significance of your equipping of the church, the followers of Christ, to do what? To share the gospel message in their sphere of influence, right? 2 Corinthians chapter 5, they're to share the message of reconciliation. Notice what the instruction of the Apostle Paul was to the young pastor Timothy, in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 1 through 5, he said this, I charge you therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the living and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word. Notice, be ready in season and out of season. Convince, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and teaching. Here's why. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Sound familiar ministry leader of the day we're in? But according to their own desires, because they have itching ears, they will heap for themselves teachers, and they will turn their ears away from the truth and be turned aside to fables. But you, meaning you minister, you Timothy, I'm speaking to you, you pastor, you ministry leader, but you be watchful in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, meaning that we share the gospel of Christ and fulfill your ministry. How? By preaching the word. Hear me. The gospel is infectious but so is sin. Romans 5 verse 12. When Adam sinned, sin entered the world. Adam's sin brought death, so death spread to everyone, for everyone sinned. Here's the question. And it becomes something that we got to ask ourselves. Who is infecting who? Remember the leper? Did he infect Jesus with a disease? No, Jesus infected him with a power that healed that leper's disease. The gospel is needed today. It's God's cleansing agent from the bacteria of lawlessness. It's a purifying instrument for the disease of sin. It's the washing away tool that God uses to deal with the corruption of the mind and the heart that is existing today. The gospel of Christ is the fundamental component to your and my calling as a minister. 
and it's the fundamental component to our equipping the followers of Christ in order to, for them to put on their spiritual armor because they are going to be confronted with the fables of this day, the lies of this day, the untruths of this day. And rather than it infecting them, rather than it polluting them, they need that armor on to be able to effectively and successfully confront the fables of the day that are infecting and polluting good people with the virus and the germ of sin. Ministry leader, the gospel of Jesus Christ is God's remedy for the virus, the disease of sin, because it's the power of God unto salvation, freedom, deliverance. Jesus understood this principle, and it was at work in his day. Let me show it to you. Remember, before his arrest in the garden, he said to his disciples, You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. John 15, verse 3. Now, I said, as I said in our last video, the word clean used here, means to free from impure mixture. Think about it. Free, the word, free. What impure mixture? The one that's in their mind, the one that's in their heart. Where'd they get information? It was shared, see? We see that this is an ongoing practice of Jesus even today. The head of the church is using it. Notice in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25 through 27, the importance of the spoken word, the gospel even being spoken over the church. Notice how Christ continues this practice of washing and cleansing the church through the ministry of the word of God. Notice it says, husbands. Love your wives just as Christ also loves the church and gave himself for her, notice verse 26, that he might sanctify and what? That he, Jesus, might sanctify and cleanse who? The church. How does he do it? With the washing of water by the word. For what reason? That he may present her, the church, to himself, a glorious church. Oh yes, Lord Jesus, thank you for that. Not having spot or wrinkle. In other words, not being infected, but that she should be holy and without blemish. And again, I want to emphasize as we read those verses, the importance of your call as a minister to what? To preach the word and the significance that when you preach the word, in whatever settings, whatever meetings you're using, leader meetings, church services, department head meetings, that you Understand the significance of equipping the followers of Christ, the church, the believing community. For what? To share the gospel message in their sphere of influence. This goes beyond just you knowing and nodding our head and going, yeah, we're supposed to share it. We need to understand it because the gospel is more contagious, more infectious than even sin. And Christians who are infecting others when sharing the gospel, they're infecting others with the love and gospel of Jesus Christ. And we're doing it unashamed of our message about Jesus. We are unashamed in the days that we are walking in. We're going to walk with compassion. With the compassion of a living Christ. To do what? To bring a remedy to the disease of sin and the spiritual blindness that is plaguing the hearts and minds and relationships of people. This is truly what Mary the Vision is all about. It's to support pastors like you, ministry leaders like you, and others that you know. It's to help support their teams. In what? In aligning with their focus, attitudes, activities, and relationships to do what? To advance the vision that Jesus has entrusted to them. Building up his body, the church, and advancing the gospel of Christ in their community or their sphere of influence. This has been my focus for years. So whether it's speaking in a church service, a conference, doing leadership workshops, whether they're on site or through video options, I could be delivering, a, you know, which I do, a delivering a commitment to regular, ongoing consulting and coaching of, ch of churches and leaders, both on-site and through video options. I mean, I love to do that. 
Why? Because I truly believe that Jesus is still building his church. I truly believe that the local church, the one that you're pastoring, the one that others are pastoring, is the single greatest organization in the world today because Jesus is setting his hand on it to build it. We are the light that the world needs. We have a message that they need to hear. I truly believe in the significance and the necessity of Christ-anointed leaders like yourself for such a time as we are experiencing today. Now, I also know how aggressive the enemy is at work to weaken the church's witness, to weaken, even silence, its message and our commitment to a living Christ. He seeks to infect, to infiltrate the believing community by polluting their minds with fleshly reasonings, causing their focus on statistics and philosophies of the day instead of on the mission at hand and the message to this generation. That's why you always hear me say, I am committed to your ministry success in Jesus Christ. Wow. I pray that this has been helpful, sharpening, insightful, encouraging to you today. Would you please help me reach across the table and around the world to support another pastor, another ministry leader, another local church in fulfilling their ministry assignment. As you can see, how important it is today. How you ask, simply share. That's how germ, germs get shared. This is how the power of the gospel helps to encourage, even infect others with God's power. Share, share how? Share this video. Share our Mary the Vision, you know, our website where they can go on and sign up to get these regularly. Share it with another leader that you know that you're thinking about even now who says they would benefit from exposure. Please take the time to do that. And I thank you for helping me. Until next week, this is Ron Yutzi. I am committed to your ministry success in Jesus Christ. Don't stop preaching the gospel. Thank you for watching this video. Please take the time, browse other videos on our Mary the Vision YouTube channel. You can help us by subscribing, liking, leaving a comment, and sharing a video. Continue to pursue Jesus.